Born November 7, 1918, Billy Graham was raised on a dairy farm in Charlotte, North Carolina. When he was 15, he attended a revival. It changed his life. Billy went forward and publicly made his commitment to Jesus Christ. Graham became a Baptist minister, and in 1943, he graduated from Wheaton College. That's where he also found the love of his life, Ruth. Billy and Ruth Graham were married for more than 60 years. And Graham became a traveling evangelist with Youth for Christ, an organization that ministered to youth and servicemen during World War II. I do not believe that any man, that any man can solve the problems of life without Jesus Christ. Graham's message resonated with post-war America and changed how mainstream America viewed God and country. Billy preached against communism. He preached a strong moral message. That moral message included civil rights. Graham became friends with Martin Luther King Jr. And in towns where whites wanted crusades segregated, Graham took a stand. Billy himself went and took the rope down and said, we don't have segregated meetings. And he took a stand for his uh, belief that every man is equal before Christ. In 1950, Billy Graham made his first visit to the White House. He met and prayed with Harry Truman. Over the years, he was close to nearly every U.S. president. His friendship with Richard Nixon led to controversy. A recorded conversation from 1972, made public 30 years later, revealed Graham making what many considered anti-Semitic remarks in the Oval Office. Graham later apologized. Billy Graham visited more than 185 countries and territories, building bridges and breaking cultural barriers. He remained popular to the end of his life, and his message never wavered. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Then he said an interesting thing. No man comes to the Father except through me. I'm Ryan Nobles reporting.